these two guys have Minnesota sports flowing in their veins. Mackie and Judd on Score North and scorenorth.com. Write it down. You like writing things down. Write this down. Write that down. Write that down. I don't have a pencil. Well, remember that. Welcome in. The only show in America. Well, this and our other show, Purple Daily. That's really dumb enough to put statistics next to our predictions. This is the OG version of Write That Down, which dates back nine years, I believe. 2015 is when we first started tracking predictions. 2018 is when we first started tracking annual statistics. So our career stats go back to 2018. And we'll get into the predictions for the week here and the accountability session after we mentioned that earlier this week, as most of you have by now read or heard in the news, uh, two Burnsville police officers, Paul Elmstrand and Matthew Rouge and firefighter and paramedic Adam Finseth were tragically killed in the line of duty. And we just, I don't know if there's anything we can do here at score North to help the families, then we'd like to. And so at scorenorth.com slash donate, we have a donation page open via the frontline foundation, which has already raised, or I guess funded $60,000 split three ways across those families. So we're just looking to rate, if you got five bucks, you got 50 bucks, 500 bucks, just please consider donating to those families. Scornorth.com slash donate. It's scornorth.com slash donate. Um, Are you guys ready here? We're, We're into the new season here. The Super Bowl marked the end of the 2024 season. It's a fresh, it's spring training, baby. For write that down. Everyone's got a zero batting average. Tracking pitches, tracking predictions. <laughs> yeah. Got our jugs machine. A lot of I'm jugs ready. machine. Rifle and takes. So, yeah, let me, have I not shared this? Let me just do this. Oh, no, Declan, let's pop this up on the screen here. Here's how it works. So, three predictions from everybody each week. They must be quantifiable. We keep track of batting averages and home runs. And listeners, if you want to participate, we might get Travis in the mix. We're uh, we're trying to connect with him before the end of the episode here. But if you want to participate, just send Declan a message through the Score North app, and we will get you scheduled for some time in the coming weeks. Are you ready to be held accountable, gentlemen? Let's do it. Yes, sir. So we've got some things coming off the board in the absence of a bunch of things coming off the board this time of year because football season's over you know it's the it's the all-star break for for basketball we will highlight some predictions that are still on the board and discuss them so judd you said the angels will trade mike trout this offseason well a couple days ago he gave his spring training press conference and he's he's still there and they should have why is he not just demanding to get the hell out of there at this and point? And why aren't they trading him and getting, like, you could get a great package for him. It's weird, man. It's just, how do it's you, cool. God, they, they had two of the greatest baseball players in history, and they can't even know. sniff the playoffs. Well, and he's like, I'm loyal, I want to be here. And it's like, it doesn't make any sense for you to be there now, and it makes no sense for them to keep you. And then Anthony Rendon buzzes in and says, eh, it's a job to me. Yeah, I'm not really into this, but not, I make a lot I of money, like, so... There's nobody who hates baseball more and plays it than Rendon. It's pretty funny. You said Matt Boldy will score three or more goals within the last week. He scored <laughs> two. Yep, had a lot of chances, had some chances last night as well. Man. So still on the board for you, you said Anthony Edwards will win NBA Finals MVP. How do you feel about that? Oh, that's going to be green in June. <laughs> that's going to be green in June. The LOB is going to be going to be presented center court target center yeah i feel very confident in this one i saw my my brother-in-law texted me yesterday just the latest odds for championship in the nba we pull this up so i don't know what platform this is mgm it's from mgm yeah celtics plus 260 nuggets plus 450 clippers plus 525 bucks plus 600 suns plus 1400 knicks plus 1800 Thunder plus 2,200. And then you get to the Timberwolves. Eighth on this list at plus 2,500. Wait, I the, mean. The Knicks, the Knicks are above the Timberwolves? Yeah. Well, that's I, a, I, that's a lot, a lot, of, a lot of Timberwolves slander here. There. It is. Yeah, I just don't. I think if you were to phrase it, are there seven teams in the NBA more likely to win the championship than the Timberwolves? I'm not saying they're the leading most likely team, but that feels a little slanderous. I feel like uh, fifth on that list would be very fair, don't you? 
Yeah, that would. I'm not putting the Knicks. Better. I'm sorry. I'm not putting the Knicks above the Timberwolves. Switch. Switch. I mean, he's he will ice, gr- ice. he will grind that team to a nub in the playoffs. Yeah, there was one night where they had a couple of guys like rotation players missing. What two or three weeks ago we were talking with Roycey. Yeah. And we looked at the box where he just played like a seven man rotation. Well, <laughs> regular season. I tell you, the guy that should be a little That's bit hilarious. concerned, not not for the now, but his future, Jalen Brunson. He's doing pretty well right now, though. He's, He's doing great like right now. But, but don't forget, Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose, part of his problem was the Tibbs abused him by playing yeah. too much. I guess if you get your money, though, and you're going to have some success now, then he, he probably would. He, yeah, I agree. Tibbs shortens careers, but. We'll see. Okay, I said Anthony Edwards will win the skills competition. Instead, he decided to shoot left-handed the entire time. That's why you were subtly oh, pissed well. off about that. Okay. I'm not pissed about it, but it's like... Okay, you were annoyed. You were annoyed on. beyond... Uh, and and by the way, e- ESPN, because there's nothing go- going on right now, is still trying to decide how to fix the All-Star game. Are they really still talking about that? The uh, PTI and Around the Horn, I think, both led with that yesterday. God, who cares? It's just, okay, what you could do, I guess, is do what the NFL does. Just fill, like, two or three days with fun games Correct. and get rid of whatever. It. Yeah, yeah. you could you could find a couple more it. fun games. You're not going to fix it. It's not, not going to be fixed. I'm sorry. Here's a prediction still on the board from, like, four years ago. I said Aaron Rodgers will play for the Minnesota Vikings before his career is over. <laughs> now, if Kirk comes off the books... We'll see what they do in the draft, but Rodgers has one more year left with the Jets, right? This could still happen. Yeah. It, fe- it felt like this had a far bit better chance of happening before Aaron went completely goofy. But if he can still play football, I mean, Brett Favre was was go- goofy in some different ways. Yeah, but Aaron's gone. I think he's I think he's exceeded Brett, don't you? Um, I, in well, different paths. I don't know, man. Like, Brett... Brett Favre well, was I'm literally playing... sending pictures of his oh. Johnson to oh, that's f- yeah, women on flip phones. Like I still, I, I, <laughs> yeah, but players still at the time liked Brett. I think Aaron. I don't know about Aaron. Aaron's a little more divisive. Like Far, yes. I think Favre was still one of the boys. I feel like I don't know that Aaron's like one of the boys in the locker room as much. But yeah, Favre loved to tell fart jokes and whip <laughs> towels, whip guys' butts <laughs> with towels. That was Favre. He was twelve years old. Just slap. There's like a full video from NFL films that year of him just like slapping teammates' butts. <laughs> ben Lieber and you know, all these guys. Okay, listeners. Steve said Cat will be traded to the Rockets, which if you he made this prediction before the offseason last year, but we give you through the trade deadline the next year with these predictions. So we did give him the extra like six months. It did not happen. He said Jabari Smith and Ty Ty Washington would go to the Wolves and a 2025 first round pick, et cetera, et cetera. Still on the board for the listeners, our old co-host in the early days of Score North, Rami Makhlouf. Nice. Said Rami. Byron Buxton will win an MVP at some point in his career. Still on the board. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe that new knee procedure? <laughs> fixing the flap? The flap's gone. Ugh, the flap. We Maybe he plays flap. 130, 540 games and he wins his first MVP. We'll see. I hope he's right. Be awesome if he was right. Declan, you said Carl Anthony Towns win the three point competition during All Star Weekend. You could take the Judd prediction off the board too. I made a Judd prediction on the spreadsheet last week. I was gonna, I was gonna give you another week just for some leeway. Okay. Let's give you, let's give another week. Okay. Let's just see. Okay. We'll see if it happens right now. Judd, you have any thoughts? Guys, I just, I'm excited to be here. Okay. Okay. Still on the board for Declan, you said the Twins will trade at least one of these players cool. by opening day. Alex Kirloff, Eddie Julian, or Matt Walner. I mean, it's not opening day yet, but it's looking. Hey, I think I made numbers. this like the day after they got eliminated from the playoffs. And it was probably still angsty Kirloff related. Well, you were which down I still on have. Kirloff. I'm you still down on Kirloff. You wanted to go down downstairs and beat him up yeah. at first base after he muffed uh, that he would. Boy. He would. He would kick the crap out of me, but um. Oh God, yeah. But would, yeah, maybe maybe just field the ground ball, and we don't ball. you don't get in the hole in the top. Sell of the high, game. buy low. I'm buying Alex Kirloff stock for 2024. Love okay. that swing. It's only one place to go, but up. Gorgeous swing. So 
No statistics yet for the 2024 season. Well, there are. We're all batting. We're all we all have incorrect ones. So we're all batting zero right now, I guess. And then all time, Declan leads the batting average all time category 360. Judd 327. I'm at 271. Listeners 261. Judd 308 career hits all time leads the hit category, and listeners with 55 home runs leads the home run category. So uh, we couldn't connect with Austin, so it'll just be the three of us making predictions on the show today. Throwback. Travis. Austin was our guest on oh, I'm sorry. Purple yeah, Daily. My bad. Travis. But, uh, Austin was great. Austin was the birthday Austin, boy on Purple yeah. Daily. Birthday boy. Nice work, Judd. Great predictions. Can't you did, you did judge your way into that one. That is true. You did judge your way Can't into that. Can't keep nice names job, Bob. Hey, Fred. Great job. Just, Thanks that, for... That's why you uh, just say hello. Thanks hello. for uh, Nicholas for, that's why for joining us. Hello. So, Judd, why don't you make your first prediction here? All right, here is my first prediction. In, in fact, we, we talked about this uh, franchise extensively on our, our very controversial twin show, but I actually made this prediction or wrote this prediction down y- yesterday, so it's not because of that. But the Tampa Bay Rays' five-year playoff streak will come to an end this season. So the Rays have been the Rays have had a five-year run. It's unbelievable, uh, despite the fact that their payroll is always near the bottom of baseball. They've had a five-year playoff run. The Tampa Bay Rays will not make the playoffs this season. Look at your agenda today. Calling out Joe Polad for referencing not, the Tampa Bay Rays. And now, not, you're, and now you're trying to further was, your agenda by yesterday. showing how garbage the Tampa yesterday. Bay Rays are. I didn't even know where the conversation was going to go. I'm just saying yeah, you did. that I think there's, there's some options. There's some options in baseball. <laughs> I think the American League West should be pretty tough this year. Oh, yeah. Don't you guys? Great division. Dude, you, Rangers, yeah. Astros, division. let's go. Well, and you're Seattle Mariners. And your M's. I was going to say, the Mariners intrigue me. Polanco. They're popular. feisty. They're competitive. Yep. Absolutely. Okay, Dex. Write this down. First prediction. All right, write this down. I was going to make this uh, last week, uh, and then we got the news from Byron Buxton, a new happy and energetic Byron Buxton, but I'm going to tweak it just a bit. So the Twins' first spring training game against the Golden Gophers is on Friday. Correct. But write this down. Byron Buxton will start in center field in a spring training game this month in okay. February. I was gonna originally I was gonna have this because we talked with Roycey and they're gonna maybe ease him in and I was gonna give like a month span, but with the way he's talking and things are tracking down there, I think Buxton starts in center field in a game in February for spring training. I think they have like seven, eight games to mm-hmm. to, to in this month. So they play Saturday. Uh, is it Pittsburgh Saturday? Yeah, I think it is. Start, yeah, they're, they're coming. They start playing break, major league yeah. games after yep. the or major league teams after the Gopher game on yep. Friday. Okay, get him. Out. I just get him out there early. I don't know. Yeah, let's let's what's well, flaps gone, so he's fine. You'd rather find out now than waiting until the last week in March, you know, to ramp him up, and then Write this down. now you're screwed because Michael A. Taylor signed somewhere else. So okay, uh, let's go here. Let's go here. The Timberwolves embark on a seven-game homestand, so they will wind up not playing a road game from like February 16th until March 7th. It'll be a three-week stretch without a road game for the Wolves. Yep. And then after the seven-game homestand, they get six road games, and then they're back at home for like seven of eight. It's a super weird schedule. But write this down. Tell me if this is a home run. They're going to win at least six out of seven of these home games. They're going to go six and one or seven and oh in these seven home games. They got the Bucks, They got the Clippers, uh, the Kings. So they got, some, they got three solid playoff teams. Is six and one on a home stand. Yeah. They're nineteen and five at home. Sure. Yeah. It's yeah. a home run. That's a home yes. run. Yes. Okay. Write it down. Yep. They're gonna they're gonna further their lead basically. Write this down. Got the Bucks at, at nine o'clock on Friday as part of a ESPN doubleheader, right? Yes, it is a nine o'clock game. They also have a game against Memphis on the twenty eighth. That's an ESPN game. They play. So they must have added some nationally televised right, games because showing Memphis. They did, They've yeah. got ESPN and TNT back to back on the LA swing in the middle of March too. So oh, they've got a bunch of nationally Chuck. televised games coming up. Oh, uh, Chuck's gonna. Dis- I'm not sure about these the, these two wolves. I don't know if these two seven footers can play together. It's like he, Chuck. <laughs> you know what Chuck is doing? Chuck is trying to to will it so he doesn't have to come here for the conference finals, or something. Like, he's he's like I already had to go so, to Milwaukee a couple years ago. Yeah, he's so 
adamant about not wanting to come I, here. I saw the same thing from Amin El Hassan from the Levitard show where the, there was the note that the Milwaukee, Milwaukee might get the All-Star game next year, and he was like, bleep, I don't want to go to that. That's that's Midwest. It's like, why, why, what does it matter, dude? Like, I get it. It's cold, but you you got a press pass. You got access to everything. You just it's, don't like it's the cold other stuff. weather. It's the dinners. It's the cl- yeah. it's oh, clubs and stuff. Sakes. But I would say this, too. It, this right. was an issue like four years ago. Was it? I think it, maybe it was the Milwaukee Bucks final. And Molly Kiram went on ESPN on oh. first take and just took a giant, you know what, all over Milwaukee oh. and Minneapolis. And okay, if your media platform, I get that you're leaning on New York and LA and bigger markets, but you've got people. If you're Dan Levitard's network, Amin El Hassan, or you're ESPN, you have tons of yeah. major market sports fans in these Midwestern markets that watch your shows. Just keep your thoughts to yourself. If you don't like Minneapolis, that's fine. Don't use your nationally televised media platform or YouTube platform to crap on those fans. It's such a weird... And by the way, no one cares about your self-serving. It's like when baseball writers complain about the game's going too long or I got to sit on a middle seat Airport. on this flight. Like, dude, yeah. you cover baseball for a living. Yeah. You, I mean, El Hassan, dude, you make a living talking about basketball. Don't complain to people because you have to go to Milwaukee for three days. I'm sorry. <laughs> And rant. Who would complain Amina about Hassan. being in a mid- middle seat? A lot. I've of never people. seen. I've never seen such a complaint from Judge anyone local. Sar- Judge being the, sarcastic. Okay, really, really quick, because our guest isn't on here, and we got a little bit of time. I saw this thing yesterday on the airplane, where some guy tried to open the emergency gate and yep. they yeah. like restrained him. They tackled him. Yeah, it's crazy. I, and I think we may have asked this question before. If you saw something fishy, not even fishy, because that's a little too broad. If you saw something alarming going on in the airplane, would you step in? If someone okay. was trying to get point. at the door, absolutely. Yes. Well, getting at the door is, I mean, that's like imminent. That's someone needs yes. to do something or, yeah. or people are going to literally get sucked out of the plane, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd do that. I've always kind of thought, you know what? I think I'd be the one. If, 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 if there was a situation that, a few people needed to get together and put an end to the situation. In my mind, I feel like, yeah, 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 hundred well, percent. But I'm saying, like, but then so when it actually happens, I'm probably curled up in the fetal position. If as it was low right by you, though, if if it was near your section, and I mean, I believe in the story. Declan was talking about like four guys jumped the guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. you'd you'd get involved. Yeah, yeah, and that's like a fight or flight situation, yes. right? Where oh man, this is here's my to question. Crawl over me. Here's my question. Would your adrenaline go so high though that that you would start to take some gratuitous shots at the guy? Yes. Like, oh, yes, you. One hundred percent. Like you would need you to incapacitate him. him. He's trying or to kill him. Or as he's or start to choke him out. Oh yeah. Yes. I mean, I mean, I hate to be grim here, but like, it is fight or flight at that point, right? Yeah. Lit, well, literally. I know, but I'm just saying, like your adrenaline, like because that's the one thing your adrenaline would shoot through the roof. Like it, it would be. So like, if you did that. I think you'd start to take shots. Yeah, you would do whatever it takes to restrain the man. Oh, but no, yes, no, they're, 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 <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying once he's restrained, so if it's four guys and he can't move, would this you continue to take a shots? A wild hypothetical. Would you continue know, to take shots? Our job is to be hypothetical. I'm saying, so I'm saying four Our guys have to die. <laughs> would, would you stand up with your shoe and just go full shoe Why? in the face? Okay, so you're saying... he. <laughs> Yes. So he's so been you're restrained. Saying he's been he's, zip tied. Yeah. He's been zip tied. I don't know where continue? we. I don't know where we got the zip ties would, hypothetically, but yeah. But okay, yeah. but let's no, say he's no longer in danger of threat. doing anything. Yes. Would Would Judd still be taking? No, Judd would be the guy that does does nothing to restrain him, but then comes in at the end to take <laughs> gratuitous shots. <laughs> it comes in when you're shooting. Yeah. Guy, Stop we've got it handled. Him. We've got it handled. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> I thought about that. Right I side. thought about that when I saw the the those no. people in Kansas City tackle the person in the parade that they thought was, and I don't yeah. know if this was the, the case or not, a shooter. And like a gun fell from the person's thing. And like three guys tackled him and it took the cops some time t- to get there. Like how many extra shots would would you just take once the guy's restrained because well, you think are he's cer- a scumbag? There are certain people, certain scumbags that deserve what's coming. That's what them. I'm saying. And I would not feel guilty about That's what I'm saying. delivering a couple extra Unnecessary blows. Point, points of emphasis. Correct. That's say. what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Write this down. Write this down. <laughs> wow, he kept track of the order. This is great. Matt Wallner will lead the Twins in spring training home runs. 
Okay. Oh, the, yeah. I love that prediction. He's going to pop. Cl- he's, classic, like, seven home run spring. And he's going to play enough? Because, like, Buxton, Buxton probably, you know, he's going to play, but he's going to play here and there, right? Maddie seems like the type of guy, put me in, Rocco. I'm ready again today. Okay. You've inspired me. Well, Write this we'll down. go to Declan here. Actually, you've inspired me, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scrap this wild prediction I had because – Instead, I think these guys are guys that are trying to prove something. And, like, not to say Larnick isn't trying to prove something, but you're, you're talking about, like, the classic Luke Hughes who, like, pops up for eight home runs in spring training. Or, like, I think Chris Parmley probably had a hell of a spring training one time. So write this down with something to actually prove. Trevor Larnick will lead the Twins in a home runs this spring training. Okay. Trevor I mean, Larnick. Wal- Walner has something to prove, too, because we're crowning him really early. Right. Write this down. And he's going to get a chance to play a lot. And I think Judd's on to something here. I but And I think his career is going to be fine. But write this down. Matt Walner will take a minor league at bat sometime before the All-Star break. He'll take a minor league at bat sometime before the All-Star break. Never know. Yeah. I could see a slow start out of the gate, a demotion. Yep. I could see that happening. Yep. And I, I would take it this is not rehab related, right? I'm just going to leave the prediction or, or, as or it is. could be. Okay. That was very crafty. Okay. Very yep. crafty. He'll take a yep. minor league at bat. I could definitely see some struggles, some strikeout problems. Yeah. And you got Larnick ripping it up in AAA, right? Yeah. Larnick comes up. Former yeah, first I could see pick. him being sent down 195, 4, and like 8. You know, he's okay. He's middling. And and they're like, it's not good enough, Maddie. Write it down. You like writing things down. Before we get to our final three predictions, let's shout out our friends at Zero Res, helping to deep clean all your homes out there. If all you're doing is vacuuming and light dusting, eh, you might want to call Zero Res. Get that deep clean, the carpets, the air ducts. In fact, if you ask for the Score North special, you can get three rooms Zero Resified starting at just $119 and a free hallway and take $75 off this month when you get your air ducts Zero Res clean. That's 952-ZERO-RES or ZEROResMinnesota.com. Say you want the Score North special. Spell it forward or backwards. It spells the same. ZERO-RES. Write it down. You like writing things down. All right. Judd's final prediction. All right. I'm going to uh, also bail on a hockey take to continue on this Twins theme because as we talk about this, I think the Twins are going to make a spring training trade. I think it might come off the record late in spring training. And the more that he sticks around, I'm not sure it's going to be Kepler. So write this down. Trevor Larnick gets traded before the season starts. Whoa. Trevor Larnick gets traded before the season starts. That's a home run for sure. I think that might. So here's what I think the Twins are going to do. I think they're going to sign a right-handed, probably corner outfield, but outfield bat. Okay. I also think that they're going to come to, to the realization that they need more starting depth potentially. And I think, you know, if Larnick has a decent spring, there's upside there for sure. So I think Trevor, I think Larnick might get traded for off the record, a pitcher. I like it. I have uh and this maybe is our twin show tomorrow. If we want to do, yeah, cause we're gonna do a random twin of the week. I have five under the radar players to watch in twin, twin spring training. Oh, I have a list. If you want, if we want to unveil that list, we could do that tomorrow. I have, I have a I guy like that I wrote down yesterday. Yeah. I like where you're going there. Yep, okay. I think you're, I think you're onto something. Um, by the way, varied. Larnick does have options left too, right? Yeah, the only ones with yes. no minor league options are Brock Stewart, Stephen Okert, and Jay yep. Jackson, the pitchers. Yeah, I think it's, I, I think that he, he would be the type of guy that you would trade who would get you a return that you actually liked. Yeah, so guys who are entering their final minor league option season include, this is from PucketsPond.com, Alex Kirloff, Jose Miranda, Willie Castro, Bailey Ober, uh, Trevor Larnick, Josh Stama, Duran, Winder, Cole Sands. Oh, Stama has options left. I didn't know that. Okay, let's go. Write this down. The Dexter. Yep. Uh, uh, By the way, still very upset about missing out on Joe Creedy yesterday or last week on Random Twin of the Week. And ironically, about an hour later after that happened, my friend sent me a Facebook memory status that like 14 years ago, whenever Joe Creedy signed in 2009, we were debating in a Facebook status update if Joe Creedy was going to perform 
for well for the Twins that year. Hilarious. So I was even more upset that I missed out on that. Very wow. upset. And what'd you say back then? Uh, I was, I, I'm going to save it because okay. my reasoning of why I didn't think the Creedy signing would work out is going to play into a random twin of the week. Oh, okay. Yeah, the so back that's actually was a clue. There is a clue for you right there. Because you have, the you back a was a mess. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking oh, yeah. about now. Maybe it was the back. It, so Maybe it was something else. Felt. But there's a there's a pre clue for you for tomorrow Who's on Random Twin of the Week. Now I got it. Uh, final one for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna make another pop culture prediction. Are you guys following along with this K Adams and Sham stuff that's going on on Twitter? Oh yes, yeah. it's super weird. TikTok, super X. weird. Oh yeah, I'm I'm all over it. Super weird. He like went on McAfee even and like just Pat asked him straight up, "Are you guys in yeah. a relationship?" And he didn't shoot it down. He just was complimenting her the whole time. She's great. Yeah. It seems yeah. a little bit like maybe Shams would like them to be in a relationship. And Kay is trying to keep him in the friend zone. I, yeah. People think that she's got, got him in the friend zone. I'm going friends with benefit zone. Okay. They both, he travels a ton. She's got a so, lot going on. Yeah. I think they, they seem to be genuinely fond of each other. And enjoy I think she's got more other. options than him. He seems oh. a little weird, a little quirky. He's yeah, just... but I think she thinks it's cute. But I mean, these are two busy adults. So very I could definitely adults. see them, you know, they're very good friends. Uh, but my prediction, write this down, yeah, is Kay Adams and Shams will be in an acknowledged relationship between now and June 1st. I don't and know, who, like TMZ. Who's going to break uh, that news? Woj? Yeah, yeah. McAfee? Uh, McAfee, It'd be great if, Wo if Woj broke that news. Shams, according to my sources, and it's sources a picture. Tell me <laughs> of them walking out of a nightclub <laughs> or something. Yeah, but I, I'm buying this. I'm buying this. I think I, Shams and Kay Adams are, 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 are a thing she's, here. She's been like, she's dated, for, she was dating Dan, Danny Amendola, I think, for a while. I think she, oh, she well, likes she, the, I didn't know the former athletes. Yeah. I didn't know that yeah. one. That okay, cool. final prediction for me. Write this down. I should counter Declan here. Write it down. You I don't like think writing so. things down. But I'll, I'll go here. Another Timberwolves prediction. So Draymond Green can't keep his mouth shut, keeps chirping the Timberwolves and doing his yeah. tough guy thing. Yeah. So the Timberwolves play the Warriors in March. I believe it's a home game for the Timberwolves. Yeah. When the Wolves and Warriors meet in their next game, the Timberwolves will win that game by at least 15 points. Write it okay. down. They will blow out the Warriors. At least, is that a home run, making that yep. prediction right now? 15-point yep. win. Is Draymond yep. done after this season, or, like, what's his plan? Nah, he's still he's still a good enough player, but, okay. dude, I would welcome the Warriors in a seven-game series. If, if it wound oh, up being yeah. Wolves-Warriors in the first round, I think that's a oh, five-game gentleman sweep at best for the Warriors. Yeah, they just don't have enough horses right now. They tried to get LeBron James at the deadline, too. I, it's yeah. crazy. We'll give yeah. you Wiggins and a 2047 first round pick. And LeBron was like, hey, well, I didn't even get to me. Yeah. How about that? So, all right. There's our predictions for the week. The accountability session, the only show in America that's dumb enough to put statistics next to our predictions here. It's write that down on Minnesota sports with Mackie and Judd.